it is my sheer delight to introduce to you the new leadership team, Sister Patricia Tuhill, Prioress. And I call for Sister Therese Leckard as First Counselor. And then I call for Sister Gemma Dahl and Sister Jean Poor and Sister Ann Lithcomb. And we present them to you with confidence we will be able to unfold a future full of hope. Through this transfer of leadership, we are ensuring that the preaching mission of Jesus, Dominic, and our foundresses will continue to unfold a future full of hope for our world and our planet. What has captured your attention about Laudato Si? Pope Francis's holistic approach to the dialogue about the effects of climate change. We are committed to tending the fire. And this is the fire that the women who are interested in Dominican life see. They look around and they investigate various religious institutes and some gravitate here. Why? Because, they say, I feel at home here. We have succeeded in creating a home for ourselves and others. It's part of being adults that calls us to recognize and accept the challenges that face us personally and as global citizens, and to do so with faith and hope and charity. Our sisters and brothers in the order for over 800 years have with faith and hope borne the light of Christ. Called to be preachers of Christ's gospel of peace today in our time, how will we bear the light? We have all know that Moen is a great place to go, but now the whole rest of the world knows. Moen has been honored by the leading age group of Ohio, which is a group that promotes excellence in long-term care. So all around the country, beginning in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and as far west as the Bay Area in California, groups of nuns, N-U-N-S, and nuns, N-O-N-E-S, have joined for conversation. This past week, three nuns stayed overnight with us. The communications office has been working for quite a while now on the next in a series of videos on Dominican life. You might remember that short video that we did a few months ago called, If You Want a More Peaceful World. If you want a more peaceful world, be compassionate to someone who is suffering. Begin with peace inside you. Do something for someone else. Take care of the earth by generating less trash, recycle, compost, or whatever you can do. Look at people. Treat them like people. Welcome to our 2018 assembly. And the Holy Spirit of love says to us, lift your voices, lift every voice, be peace in this global community. We began our day in a dialogue related to our common study, racism encountering the other. Bethany Yeager is with us tonight and she will present to us an overview of this stewardship planning process. There is a big overarching goal to this process, and that is help to help free the congregation and its membership more fully for mission. Now another thank you is to those who have been the latest volunteers at the southern border in El Paso. We also are grateful for our sisters in Tucson who on a daily basis assist migrants. We live in a time of social, civic and ecclesial collapse. The soon to be concluded investigation into Russian interference into our democratic processes. Politicians who daily present alternative facts as truth. And we see the Me Too movement, the sexual abuse crisis in the church, and the present need for the Black Lives Matter movement, the brutal assault on our planet Earth, and countless migrants languishing at our borders, 
children separated from their parents, we are each called to be light in the darkness. The qualities of Dominic live in us, and we are called to release those bound unjustly, untie the thongs of the yoke, share our bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless. This weekend, we are celebrating the first 10 years of our life together as the Dominican Sisters of Peace and Associates. It has been 10 years, an entire decade, since God brought us here in this very place and brought us into being as peace. And what a decade it has been. So the first part is to look at our challenged country specifically. And one of the things that we know at Network is that our economy <laughs> is in really some trouble. Some of you are aware that Rosary Manor in Watertown, Massachusetts will be closing by the end of April. We live Dominican life in this 21st century, and for much of our lives in recent years, we have experienced change as our only constant. This shapes our present adventure. Ministries founded by the Dominican Sisters of Peace continue to have a special relationship with the congregation called sponsorship. This relationship helps each ministry to have a special connection with the Dominican family and connects the mission of each ministry to the preaching charism instituted by St. Dominic. Members of ministry boards and advisory councils are integral to the current work and future growth of a ministry. By sharing their time, talents, and resources, each member has an opportunity to live out their own call to holiness, to invite others to be transformed by the gospel, and to help create communities of welcome and peace. Our everyday lives are being disrupted by this pandemic. There are many inconveniences. We are being challenged to creatively adapt our tried and true ways of acting. Well, December is the Dominican month for peace. And this year, the focus shifts to Europe and the Ukraine. Since 2014, people of the Ukraine have suffered the effects of war, repression, and displacement. We hold in prayer and deep concern the people who live in Honduras, Guatemala, and Nicaragua as they cope with two intense hurricanes. I would like to give you a few updates on Dominican Veritas Ministries. We, the Peace Congregation, will work with our schools to become part of Dominican Veritas Ministries. And as we close tonight, we remember that there will be no webcast in April because we'll be together at chapter. And let us make our special plea for prayer, for peace in Ukraine and throughout the world. Amen, Amen. and good Amen. night.